just want to take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you uh, a Merry Christmas and I hope you have a fantastic New Year. Now this video is what is your most memorable Christmas moment um, and to help me out I've brought some of my, a uh, couple of my friends and a couple of family members along to uh, interview them so that they can tell me what their most memorable Christmas moment is. Um, I suppose I should kick things off, but I don't really have a memorable Christmas moment. I've been thinking uh, a lot about this and I genuinely can't think of one. I've just got too many. Um, I, I just know that when I was younger, uh, the tradition in our house is when we, uh, when we were younger, uh, we would uh, we had our own stocking, which is what I've got here. So we've got each and every one for the siblings. So there's my brother Johnny, and there's my oldest brother Michael, my little sister Cassie, and then of course my one, Thomas. Which And they were all made by my aunt when we were all very, very young. So we each have our own personal stock, the stocking. So that was one of the things that I remember from a very young age is um, using the stocking and I still use them today. I think they're awesome. I love my stockings. So on Christmas morning we would wake up really early and run downstairs, uh, make sure he's been and we would all take it in turns to have, open our presents. The children would open their presents first. So me, Michael, John and Cassie, we would open our presents first and then once we'd open our, ours first then uh, the uh, all the grown-ups would then open theirs. Um, so it's just that was just a tradition growing up, really like that. Uh, but to help me out, uh, I've got some, got a couple of my friends and a couple of family members to tell to tell you guys what their most memorable Christmas moment is. Here it is. Check it out. So my most memorable Christmas moment was probably when I was about seven years old, and I was upstairs with my sister, and she turned around and went, "Jamie, do you want to know what your main present is for Christmas this year?" And I was like, "No, no, I don't want to know. Like, please don't tell me." <laughs> And she said, went, yeah, well, I'm going to show you. And she went into my mum's room and she went, she went to my mum and dad's room and she went, Jamie, look, in this top cupboard here. And I went, oh, no, no. And I looked in and it was this big yellow crane that I have always wanted. And, yeah, and she went, look, there it is. And I was like, oh. So I come around to Christmas Day and we went downstairs and we crawled downstairs and, and obviously at Christmas we always go downstairs and it's always my mum or dad that always goes first downstairs to see if Santa had been and eaten the, the carrot the carrot stuff the, the reindeer and uh, and you know and, and the mince pie and, and the whiskey so um, yeah so obviously we got downstairs and we, we got in the living room and there's all the presents and we'd sat there and uh, <clears throat> and I opened up this big present it was like the last one like the big main present I opened it up and it was this big yellow crane and I started crying <laughs> Start crying, man. Oh, it's all I've ever wanted. It's all I've ever... I just remember this look on my sister's face, looking at me, going, "Don't pretend to cry." And I was crying because I had this yellow crane. I was like, "Mom, Dad, it's all I've ever wanted. Thank you so much." But really, I already knew what I was going to get because my sister had given it away and told me. So, um, yeah, never tell my sister a secret because she can't keep one. And um, yeah, I had to pretend that I didn't know what I was getting for Christmas. So that was my most memorable Christmas moment. <laughs> The Christmas memory that makes me sort of laugh the most is probably, uh, it must have been about seven or eight, so very much at that time in my life when uh, Christmas was really fantastic and exciting, of course. Seven and eight year olds, they really love Christmas, don't they? So I was really, really excited, and it was Christmas Eve, and um, all day my dad had been sort of decorating the bathroom, he was doing some retiling in there, and I was pestering him all day in between him trying to get work done asking him all questions about Father Christmas. What time does he come in? How big is the sleigh? Um, where's the North Pole? That kind of thing. You know what kids are like. Um, and I was getting myself more and more cranked up and hyper and excited. So the day went on and he kept shooing me away. Then look, look, I'm busy, I'm busy. You know, he's coming, don't worry. So um, that night, um, it was getting towards bedtime and I was just so excited I could hardly sleep. and. I went up to bed and uh, my dad was sort of, you know, saying goodnight to me. I said, he's definitely coming, is he? He's definitely coming. I said, yes, 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 don't you worry, he's coming. And then my dad said, I can hear something. What's that sound? So, of course, that stopped me dead in my tracks. And he opened the curtains in my bedroom and he pointed up at the sky. 
where um, obviously there were stars up there and he said look I think I can see Santa and his sleigh up in the sky and of course me being so young I looked up and for a minute there I really thought that I could see Santa's sleigh in the sky and I got very very excited again you know my heart was pumping thinking he's really going to come and we get all those presents and on that note he kind of left me he said right night night you've got to be asleep when Santa comes otherwise you won't get any presents so I did my best to fall asleep anyway Christmas Eve a few hours later, so we're kind of in the small hours of Christmas morning now, I hear this almighty crash. It wakes me up, and it sounded like Santa had landed on the roof. It was that loud, really loud crashing sound. So I went running into Mum and Dad's bedroom, all excited, saying, Santa's here, Santa's here, it's really exciting. I heard him, I heard him. Anyway, the sound that had woken me up was the sound of all of the bathroom tiles falling off the bathroom wall into the bath. Um... So sadly it wasn't Santa that time, but I'll never forget that moment because I had hysterics of laughter and my dad wasn't particularly happy that all of his tiles hadn't quite set properly. And that's the end of my Christmas story. My most memorable Christmas memory, there's too many. It's got to be your firstborn's first Christmas, Michael's first Christmas, and then of course John's and Tom's and Cassie's magic moments. Um, Christmas is spent with loved ones that are no longer with us. Um, the, the Millennium Christmas when our lovely family from America all came over. Um, the Christmas. Dad and I found out that we were going to be grandparents. John and Tracy gave us um, an envelope and we thought a voucher or something for Christmas. And then when we opened it, it was um, to Nanny and Grandad. And inside, oh, inside it said, um, looking forward to seeing you next year. Magic. <laughs> um, and of course now, now she's, she's five, Alicia's five, and, and we also have Charlie Boy, and Rihanna, and, and this year Maddie. So, um, I think a significant Christmas was possibly when we got Tom, um, his first camera. He was about seven, and um, we bought him his first camera, <laughs> his Wallace and Gromit camera. I think that's probably some of his finest work because he's absolute rubbish now. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> what else can I do? Um, that's it. I mean, and hopefully many, many more lovely memories to come. Um, that's it, really. <laughs> My most memorable Christmas memory, I have got quite a few um, of my children being born, my three children being born, my grandchildren and my great grandchildren. But I think I shall tell you an embarrassing one. It was coming up for Christmas and I belonged to the uh, Terry Juvenile Stage School, um, acrobats and tap dancing, and I loved it. And I was staying at uh, one of the, the, the girls' houses and I had a little gathering as it was coming up to Christmas and I was a bit of a show-off I think when I was at the age of 12 years old and um, this was in 1948 and so I thought I know what I'll, I'll entertain them. I said would you like me to put my leg over my hair so I said yes go on do that. So. <laughs> yes, I would. Got my leg up over my head, and I thought, "Oh my goodness!" All of a sudden, I passed wind. I thought, "Oh my goodness! How embarrassing!" So I thought, "Oh, I must get this down." And the more I tried to get my leg back over, the more I was passing wind, and because everybody was laughing, and I felt so embarrassed. But in the end, I did get it down. I had help, of course. And that was the most embarrassing time 
of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> So thanks for checking out this video guys. You can like my photography page in the link down below on Facebook. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, the link is also down below as well. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, it's been an awesome year for me. Uh, I've, the first year I've ever gone completely freelance and it's gone really, really well, really well. I hope that I have an equal amount of success in 2014 and I hope to see you all or work with you in the new year and uh, make some awesome new friends this year. Hope to see you all again soon, whatever country that is. Take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.